Hello YouTube, this is my final Persona 5 review. Now basically that I finished the game 3 times and have over 117 hours of playtime, I think I'm ready to review this game. And I'm pretty sure that I put more time and resources and money than anyone else on YouTube. So yeah, I know what I'm talking about. So, what is in you in Persona 5 Royal? Alright, so in terms of characters, they added three new characters, Mariyuki, Kasumi, and Joseph. Or Juicy. Well, whatever. Mariyuki is the new doctor on basically your school. Kasumi is the new um, Phantom Thieves. Uh, we all know that. And yes, she's a romanceable option. And Juicy and Joseph is uh, is a guy where you can buy stuff on mementos so but my problem is that these three new characters truly shine in the third semester and that is annoying because the third semester is only playable after you finish the original Persona 5 content which that in you we all know that Persona 5 is 100 hours plus game so after 100 hours or how fast you are, you're finally going to be able to play the new stuff. If you are like, played the original Persona 5 like me. Okay, so what is the third semester? The third semester is all the royal content. You know, the new story, the new character, the new playable areas and stuff like that. Alright, so in terms of story. Let's just discuss the story, okay? I'm not mention any spoilers so so basically new strange events start to happen on the third semester which is of course the new the new content you know so like uh, I don't know Morgana is now a human Wakaba is now alive and Chiho is still hanging out with the aunt she did not transform the school and there's like much more but I don't want to say anything further so that's so so that's what's gonna make a, a Kichikun suspicious uh, because you know all these strange event seems out of place you know and people are acting weird so Akechi teams up with Joker to uncover the dark secrets of this strange event <clears throat> and this is where you know the story starts and you're gonna see the villain and stuff like that all right so and they are also added some new playable areas which I will uh, let you see in the background and they added darts as well yeah some pretty cool stuff and they added the new mementos levels which is pretty cool they added brand new personas and yeah, Kasumi is a romanceable option. And that is like the best option. Alright, so my final score is gonna be like nine nine and a nine and a half out of ten. That make like that's mean like the game is great. And I highly recommend it for anyone. But there is a but. If you played the original game, I honestly think, and this is like not me being like a a fanboy or a sellout or basically a hater because I was never gonna buy this game in Japanese, you guys know that. Um, I honestly think that you should wait for price data, for basically price cut. Wait for this game you know when when it's go to sale or buy it used for cheap because if you play the original Persona 5 game at the Persona 5 Royal is nothing really new you already played that just you know just new brand new characters and brand new palace that that is it that is it so yeah I would honestly think like ah uh, Alright, and I, I also want to mention as well, um, <laughs> you know, uh, the DLCs for Persona 5 Royal, which is a huge freaking scam. Do not buy that DLC. If you want to buy the 
personas 3 and 4 personas I would understand that I personally bought them but the others but the other one like the themes and stuff like that they are a scam don't waste your money your hard-earned money on these scam DLC anyway that was it for me I see you in the next video peace